Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and we are going to do a cool technique today for putting a mask onto this image. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and add a Hue and Saturation Layer on top of the image. And so you'll see here in our Layers panel, and we are going to move the saturation all the way down to negative 100, which means that it puts um, the, all the color is out of the image. So you'll notice there on the Layers panel, though, if I hide that hue and saturation, the colored image is still sitting behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right here on this, this saturation mask. We're going to come over here to our paintbrush and you're going to want to swap down here and make sure you're using the black paintbrush, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to actually paint black on top of this mask layer. And what you'll see it doing, it's actually, if you look over here, it's putting a hole in this mask, in the saturation layer. So the black is allowing the color underneath to show through because you're basically putting a hole in this little, in this mask right here. And as I use my paintbrush, if you make a mistake, oops, and go accidentally outside the layer, you can just swap colors and use the white and mask, put the mask back on. So then I swap back and if I want to touch up and get, you might want to zoom in and get that all masked. And this is nice because it has a black background. It makes it easier to color. So if you look over here in our layer, you now see that there is a hole in the mask and everything is black and white except the part that you rub through and the color image is showing through in the back. And this is a great technique, especially if you have an image where there's one thing that you really want to stand out, like a red car or an orange basketball, and you want everything else in the image to be black and white. When you're done with this image, because we opened up the original JPEG, we have to be careful that we don't ruin the original. So I'm going to save a copy of this and on my desktop uh, as a PSD. And now I want to have a flattened version to use. Save as. And I'm going to name this image butterfly like black white so that I know that this one is my flattened PSD. Um, whoops, I made a mistake. Let's do it again. Flatten PSD, but I want it to be saved as a JPEG. And if you get the JPEG options, medium quality is fine. And you'll see that when I'm done with this, I can come here to my desktop and show you my flattened black and white butterfly that has the color pops through.